Hi, I'm Jason with 3D Printing Canada, and today we're going to perform some routine maintenance on the Creality Ender 3. We're going to change the nozzle. First things first, in the interest of saving some time, preheat your nozzle to operating temperature. We've set it to 185 degrees, which is our preheat PLA temperature. You never want to be loosening or doing the final tightening on your nozzle if it's not uh, heated up. We're going to need a couple simple tools. We're going to need Allen keys. I'm going to use a wrench and a spanner. Uh, the spanner is to hold on to the heat block so it doesn't rotate as we loosen the nozzle. Uh, I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. So we need to take the fan shroud off. There are two screws, one on top and bottom, or sorry, the side. Undo those and we'll move the fan shroud off to the side to give us easy access to the bits we need. All right, so now we have the heat sink, the heat block, which is hot, the heat break is in between, and you'll see two threaded rods on this model that connect the heat block to the heat sink. So there's less risk of this rotating as we loosen the nozzle, but it's still best practice to make sure you're not putting any undue stress on that. So using your spanner, tighten it along the heat block, making sure you're not pinching any of the wires for the thermistor or the heater cartridge. And then using your other wrench, slip it over top of the nozzle and loosen. That's really loose. I should be able to just rotate. All right. Be very careful. It's going to be extremely hot. Uh, in this case, there's nothing wrong with our existing nozzle. We'll just reinstall it in the reverse order. If you were to let this cool in between, just make sure that you heat it back up before you do the final tightening. You can hand thread this in while it's cool. That's fine. Okay, so it's just starting to snug up there. I'm going to use the larger wrench, hold on to the heater block and give it final tightening. You don't want to go too crazy, but make sure it's good and snug. And then reassemble the fan shroud in the reverse order as before, making sure you don't pinch any wires in the process. And one thing to note is to make sure that the fan shroud is flush against the X carriage. Um, I know many people when they disassemble this and reassemble it, they end up with vibrating or rattling noises if it's not good and tight and flush. There we go. And then we can make sure to properly cool this down, prepare, whoops, sorry and cool down. All right, pretty simple. It's not intimidating at all. Uh, so remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified when we upload more content and leave a comment. Let us know what other routine maintenance things you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.